Hey, it's Scott with the Davidson Real Estate Team. Real Estate Made Easy. Question at the very end of the transaction. You're under contract, whether you're a seller or buyer, and the buyer says, I want to do a final walkthrough. Is that a good idea or not a good idea? What do you think? So here's my idea why I think it's a fantastic idea. So let's say you went into the house and you bought the house and you, you really liked that green ceiling fan in the bedroom. And then when you're doing the final walkthrough the day of closing and you look up and there's just a light fixture, a globe, and you go, wait, wasn't there a ceiling fan in here? And you go back and look at the seller's property disclosure and it says they're selling the house with ceiling fans in it and the ceiling fan's not there. What do you do now? Well, you wouldn't have caught it had you not done it, first and foremost, right? Secondly, that's where you have to call the other agent and say, look, there was a ceiling fan in here. This is what, you, this is what we were buying, so we need to make this right. And look, I've had the situation. I listed a house. It's a really, really humorous story because the owner was absentee. They lived in another state. The tenant lived there, and the owner had put in the property disclosure, yeah, the ceiling fan comes to a house. Of course it does. Well, there was a ceiling fan in the living room and the master bedroom. Guess what the tenant had done? The tenant had put ceiling fans in the secondary bedrooms for the kids. Okay, so guess what happened when, they, when the tenant moved out? The, the tenant took their fans, right? So we, they go through the, the, the walkthrough, never noticed it, didn't think twice about it. They did it like two days before closing on this situation instead of the morning of. We get to the closing, we close the house. It's a Friday night, no joke. I get a phone call and the phone call goes like this. Hey, where's the green ceiling fan? I don't know. I thought this is, I, I thought everything was still in place. They're like, no, that bedroom's missing that ceiling fan. And so after verifying this and talking it out and trying to figure out what happened, it's exactly what we figured out. The tenant took it. The seller didn't even know about it. So whose fault is it? The buyer thinks they're getting it. Tenant took their property. Seller didn't even know in the first place. Whose fault is it? It's nobody's fault. It's one of those situations where you go, well, it's not your fault. And, and the way I take it upon myself, because I take responsibility for everything we do, it wasn't my fault, but it was my problem, right? So Scott went to Home Depot on a Friday night, bought a gift card, bought a new ceiling fan. Everybody's happy. The truth of the matter is, to this day, that seller never even knew that I did it. Because the fact is, they were happy with the service we gave them in the transaction. The tenant, it wasn't their fault nor their problem, so they didn't know about it either. The buyer's thrilled. They got their house. They got the perfect fan that they wanted. Everybody's happy. The other agent's thrilled because she didn't know how to handle it either. She was like, what are we supposed to do? So that's how we take care of problems, right? Just do the next right thing. That's our whole philosophy. That's what we're gonna do for you. So if you have any questions, give me a call because I wanna take care of you no matter what that looks like. You know my name, you know my number. Give me a buzz.